hundreds of thousands of pensioners could be missing out on vital benefits, which could be worth more than £3,000 a year. My goodness, that yeah. would come in handy. Well, obviously, at three grand, it could be desperately needed money for people on, on low incomes who are struggling to cope with the cost of living crisis. Well, our Martin Lewis says that it's really easy to check if you're one of those people who qualifies for pension credit, as it's called, and it can be a gateway to other benefits. And he joins us now. So, Martin, what we're saying is that there is money out there to be picked up that people simply don't know that they're entitled to. Yeah, it, it is a national tragedy that up to one million pensioners are missing out on this rather substantial entitlement in many cases. Uh, many of those pensioners, of course, have been paying into the system for years. And what pension credit is meant to do is to top people's income up so that if their state pension and other income isn't enough, that they have a reasonable standard of living. But for one of those reasons, this has been tricky for a long time to get people to claim. Now, I don't often join in with government campaigns, but in a meeting with uh, the pensions minister about this, and he was talking about it, something I've gone on about for years, I, I volunteered that I would agree to, to get out there and start talking this on today, because today is the snappily named Pension Credit Day of Action, everybody. Woo! Uh, and so that's why we're talking about it. Now, pension credit it, it, is pretty simple. If you, here is my rule of thumb, and what I'd like everybody watching to do, even if you're not of the right age, is to think of somebody who may be and check with them whether they're getting it. So, if you were of state pension age, which is effectively age 66 or over now, and you have total income, now that's income from work, pension, state pension, some benefits, and savings and investment can count, but if you have total income under 200 pounds a week, then I would absolutely get in touch with the pension credit system, either online at gov.uk or call the pension credit claim line and ask, am I due money? I'm not saying everybody with income under £200 a week is due money, but I'm saying if you've got income under £200 a week, it's absolutely worth five minutes to check. Because as you say, the average payout on this average is £3,300 a year. And it doesn't stop there. I call pension credit a gateway benefit because if you're entitled to the main element, the guaranteed element of pension credit, I won't go into the technicals of it, but if you're entitled to that, then it also means you're entitled to a host of other things. Um, now, that includes the 650 quid uh, energy payment that the Chancellor announced last month. And if you're on pension credit, if you're eligible for it and you haven't claimed that, that's the only benefit that if you still claim it now, you will get the whole 650 quid. It includes free TV licenses for the over 75s. It includes council tax reductions. It includes housing benefits if you're a renter. It includes cold weather payments. It includes the warm home discount. It can include free glasses and contact lenses if you can need them. It can include free dentistry. And all of that is triggered if you get pension credit. So it is the most important thing to check. I'll go back. If you're of state pension age, that's age 66 or over, and you've got total income under 200 quid a week, you should definitely either get online to check or call up the pension credit claim line. And if you're worried about calling up because it's called a claim line, it's a helpline. If you call up, they'll talk you through it and the worst can happen is they'll go, actually, you're not eligible. Martin, I wonder if you can explain what sort of information you might need if you are going to make that call. Well, look, in a perfect world, you want details of what your income is, if you get any benefits, what savings you have. And that would be great if you had it when you made the call. But if you don't have it, make the call. In fact, the phrase I'm using today is don't stall, just call. Well, as you you say, can also go online, but I couldn't think of a rhyme for that. Well, yeah, let's talk about the online option. You say that's gov.uk that you click onto. Uh, and is that, once you're on that side, is it pretty simple just to, you just click through the various options? And it's, it's not a complicated thing to do online. You answer the questions and it tells you about what you're eligible for. Right. I mean, this is a really simple thing, but the, to get the message out there, people think, I'm a pensioner, I'd get my state pension. Well, there are many reasons you may not get your state pension. And in fact, some people should be looking at buying back extra years, often because you haven't got enough national insurance contributions or you haven't been correctly allocated them in some cases. There are many people who don't get the full state pension. And if you don't, the pension credit is designed to give you this basic minimum income. But 
up to one million people are eligible for it and aren't claiming. And that is just a disaster in the midst of cost of living crisis. So it's incumbent on all of us, and my bit is coming on your show to talk about it, mm. but it's incumbent on everybody watching. If you're age 66 or over, check for yourself. If you or a relative may be in this position and they're on a relatively low income and they're a pensioner, have this conversation and suggest that they either get online or they make the call because we've all got to get through the next year. And the next year is going to be incredibly tough with the cost of living. I am very concerned about this winter for everybody. But with pensioners, I'm concerned and frustrated because I know this money is out there and there are so many people who desperately need it who aren't claiming. Okay. And that's why we have to spread the word. I have just Googled pensioncredit.gov.uk mm -hmm. and it does. it is one of the first sites to come up. But, well, it is the top site to come up. But, Martin, is the help... Because it is the group of people who are less likely to be online. Mm. Is the... Uh, can you give them access to the number for the helpline and is it free? Uh, it's absolutely free. There are two numbers. Yep. I'm very happy to do it. I wasn't sure I was allowed, but I will do it. Good. If you are in England, Wales or Scotland, then you call the Pension Service Helpline on 0800 731 0469. 0800 731 0469. Lines open from 8 to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. Clearly, it will be busy today. Yep. So you might want to do it in a day or two if you don't get through. In Northern Ireland, it's the Pension Centre on 0808 100 6165. And can we just say the beauty of doing this interview via a computer is I could click that and look down just as you asked me and be able to read the number out. <laughs> yeah. And listen, you, you refer to this as, as our show. It's your show as well, you know. You, you sit in this seat and do this job as well. Um, but that was really Not today, clear, Richard. You are, you are captain today, sir, and I, I'm, just, I'm just a visiting act. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Listen, that was super clear and, and, and very, very timely. Thanks very much indeed for that, mate.